What's up guys? So Haley and I finally have a free evening and it's that time of year that leaves are gonna start changing colors. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna hopefully try to find us some pretty colors to go fly over. Yep, I'm into it. Let's do it. I'm Trent Palmer. I fly drones for a living and bush planes for fun. Follow along as I journey off the beaten path of aviation. Temp, everything's in the green and ready to roll. Okay. Check, check. It's the traffic. Freedom Fox taking runway 8 will be straight out eastbound instead. Doesn't look like it's in full swing, but there's some yellow. I actually think the good part of the river starts over this way. Perfect. This is so cool. That's where I've landed before. I'm gonna swing back and take a look at it, okay? Okay. Wow. Yeah, it's super yellow, huh? The rock face? Uh. Not very smooth, huh? No. Uh, you found a surfing here a short final for 24. Uh, depending on your point, You found it. All right, we found at least some of the autumn colors we were looking for, so I think we should take a little walk. Also, there's a dip right after where I landed here that made me shorten my intended landing area by a bit, so I think what we're gonna do is walk probably back that way and this way and see if we can figure out a little extended area for the takeoff just so that I'm not pushing it at all. Pulling your brakes super hard. Yeah, I don't even know how you're gonna fly over that ditch. We're gonna walk and find out. I don't deny there's some strange evolutionary progress going on. But mankind won't be destroyed. The fact that you and I are working here today is evidence of that. What do you think? This is so neat. I love that feeling after a walk when you're or hike when you're so tired and then you just like go home and you have the best new mattress. <laughs> that was kind of smooth. Uh, I'm gonna actually take this moment to tell you guys about the sponsor of this video, Helix. All right, now I don't know if I've ever fully expressed to you guys how important I take sleep. I probably learned it from you. Oh, I value sleep. It is crazy though. I think I listened to some Joe Rogan podcast with what Matthew Walker, he's a sleep scientist. That yeah. just messed my world up because it's really hard to get the appropriate amount of sleep every night and then the right quality sleep. So ever since then, I've been on this quest of just making sure that I get a good night's sleep. And the funny thing is when Helix reached out to us, we were like, yeah, we would love to try your mattress, but we had actually just bought this like really nice premium, super expensive mattress. Over like, the top. Yeah. 
Then we got our Helix mattress, and for those that don't know, Helix is a mattress in a box company. They make premium mattresses that they cater to your exact sleeping style and your comfort levels. But when we unbox the thing, we set it up, we figured we'll sleep on it for a couple nights and then it'll go into our guest bedroom and be a nice guest bedroom mattress. But the funny thing is at this point, it is now our new permanent mattress and the luxury one that we had bought before is now our guest room. Yep. So the way that Helix works is you go online and take the Helix sleep quiz. You tell them how you sleep, what position you sleep in, as well as other characteristics of your sleep and they'll cater a mattress specifically for you. Now after Haley and I took the quiz, they recommended that we get the Midnight Lux was the actual one we got. Yeah. It's a medium firmness, super comfortable mattress and it is a hybrid. It's not all foam, it's a actual spring and foam mattress. Also with a Helix mattress, you get a 100 night trial and they have a 10 year warranty. And the best part of it all is when you purchase, they ship for free directly to your door, comes rolled up in a box, super easy to set up. Yeah. And then you're styling. Took no time at all. So head to helixsleep.com slash Trent Palmer for up to $200 off your next premium mattress. And two free pillows. Yeah, and free shipping within the United States. So now we need to pick what direction we're gonna go for this takeoff. Yeah. I actually think if we just taxi this way, it looks like this is all super smooth and we could be off before where we're parked. And this is all much firmer sand. <laughs> Holding the camera out at arm's length, walking through sand and talking at the same time always makes me feel winded. And I'm like, geez, I'm out of shape. But I think it's just walking and talking through sand. Well, this is some really deep sand. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that poor little tail wheel. The funny thing is, that's the wide guy. That thing's supposed to float. And even the 29s at like, I don't know, five PSI are sinking. Oh. So we're gonna turn and burn that way. There we go. Okay, that was like a uh, non-event, but <laughs> could have been something. Beautiful. Uh... Look at that. That's where I meant to land, not to oh my detract gosh. from that. That was the, the super and long look spot. Look how beautiful this is. I know, we would have been right in the thick of it. We're going to just have to come back. Thirty minutes. We are landing in basically the dark. Shut up. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Where's that um, airliner? There he is. Oh, he's turning in. Oh my God, we gotta get down. We gotta get down. <laughs> I don't want that weird UPS thing to happen to us. Honey, he's coming straight at us. He's well above us. It made it in before it was actually dark. Yay! All right guys, and we are back safe and sound, but Haley has a whole honeydew list of other things we need to go get into like right now, which is why we didn't stay and play any longer. Right. So we're gonna run around and see what we can get done. Errands. We gotta go. <laughs> All right, we are loaded to the brim. Yeah, uh, chores complete, groceries, Bed frame, box, I don't even know where you have that. And dinner. And dinner. Now we journey home.